welcome to my channel my name is Doug and I'm back with another fountain pen review and thank you to those who have supported my channel by liking and subscribing your support allows me to continue to bring you fountain pen reviews as I am unsponsored on this channel so thanks today's fountain pen review is a bit of a novelty pen I found it on eBay for three dollars US and I just had to get one to try it out it is a hero 360 degree it is a tiny slim metal pen so not in my ballpark at all but the cool thing about it is that it has a 360 degree nib I remember there was a Parker pen back in the 1980s that had a 180 degree nib that allowed you to write with the nib either upside down or right side up and it was called you guessed it the Parker 180 if indeed this pen writes in 360 degrees it will be very cool if it writes in 360 degrees and writes upside down well now that would be very uh fisher space pen now wouldn't it let's find out right now <laughs> So this has to be the least amount of packaging that I've ever had for a fountain pen. Good thing it's only a $4 pen or dollar value pen. But I got this one because it looked interesting. Let's take a look. And here it is. It is an OF-037D. Uh, five millimeter 07 c4 04 dash four or shrill petrol with the new additive glc 942 4075 after 6 p.m 942 4047 and uh, that means nothing to me uh, but this is a hero uh, 360 very small pen but hero 360 in that the nib apparently the nib apparently can be used in 360 degrees yeah so that is a point that has been bisected in both axes so horizontally and vertically so it has four tines to it and it's an aerometric very interesting does that come out no so you're stuck with aerometric so if that nib writes with any amount of clarity you see people would be very interested in this pen just as a pocket pen so interesting we shall clean this pen out and give it a try and do a full review of it and see whether it's worth the roughly four dollars in some odd sense the hero 360 and what I'd like to do today is go over the parts and features of this pen show some size comparisons some measurements and then provide a writing sample after the writing sample please stay tuned as I will talk about what I like and what I don't like so much about this fountain pen overall this is a very short and very slim pocket style fountain pen it is made of shiny and light metal which seems to have a very slick coating so it's extremely slippery From the top we see a bullet shaped finial that has a small divot in the top and it doesn't precisely fit into the rest of the body as you can see there's a, a bit of a lip right there that you can feel and that lip is filled with glue there's also what I thought was a dent or a scratch right there but on closer inspection it is actually a chrome flaw the cool thing here is that the finial houses a spring mechanism for the clip which works very very well and it has hero stamped in the top of the clip the cap is straight to the end of the cap where we see it has hero and some Chinese characters 360 degrees and a 001 I have no idea what that 001 might be but that's like uh, that silver is silk screened into that top 
The barrel starts with no step, but there's a thin chrome ring at the top of the barrel, and it runs straight until about here where it begins to taper to a small knob shape, either pressed or extruded into the end of the barrel. Uh, this pen is so light, and with this shape in the end, I get the feeling that the pen cap and body are made of extruded aluminum. And this shape on the end gives me the impression that this is designed to fit into the cap uh, to allow for a better posting of the pen, but we shall see that. The cap snaps off to reveal a very slim and very slick metal section and this very unique nib and feed. The section tapers to the nib with a small ridge right at the edge, which and that part there snaps into the cap uh, for that capping mechanism. Let's take a closer look at this nib. The nib is comprised of a flat blade that has a ball of tipping material on the end, which is split into four segments. Maybe there you can see those four segments. And the cuts are at 90 degrees. So you have four 90 degree cuts. The flat sides of the blade have plastic material on them, which I can only assume is part of the feed. There doesn't seem to be any way to remove that uh, nib and feed, which isn't exactly swappable in any case. The section unscrews to reveal the aerometric filling system, which is fixed in place. And there are some Chinese characters there, which I assume say hero. Inside of the cap shows a plastic liner that also houses a shape that clicks into the section for capping. The cap posts deeply and securely, but surprisingly doesn't click into that shape. Why design a shape into the end of that barrel and not make it compatible with the capping mechanism? I'm not sure. Perhaps it's just poor manufacturing. It is either poor manufacturing or poor design. Dude, I don't get it. I don't get it either. Unposted or posted, the pen is plenty long enough and nicely balanced. That cap is so light it doesn't back weight the pen at all. This pen retails for $4 US. And for $4, I'm thinking you're getting a lot of pretty good manufacturing here for a $4 pen. Now let's look at some size comparisons. And here we are with the Hero 360 degree with a Pilot E95S. A Moonman 80S, a Caveco Sport, and a Pilot Metropolitan for scale. Now let's look at them posted. And here we are with them posted. And you'll note that they all post very nicely. And the 360 is just about the same length as the E95S when posted. The Moonman 80s is a pocket version of the Moonman 80, uh, which is uh, a clone of the Parker 45. It has an identical nib and section to a Parker 45. In fact, the parts are interchangeable. And of course, the Caveco Sport is a well-known pocket pen. And let's look at some measurements, and I'll be back with a writing sample. <music> portion of the review. This is Clairefontaine 90 GSM paper and this is the Hero 360 degree and it has a fine steel nib and the ink today is Hiroshizuku Hero. Let's check the wetness here. As you can see, the pen is decently wet. Here's the swatch for the Hiroshizuku Ama Hero, and it is a lovely uh, turquoise kind of blue. And there is Lamy turquoise next to it, and a little more blue, Dimine Asa blue. 
And as to line variation, well, <laughs> there's no point. Not to put too fine a point on it, there's no point. Uh, because the nib is cut end view on like this, no matter how you press on it, it's not going to spread out and give you any line variation at all. The idea is you should be able to turn this nib in any direction and it writes. So, and turn it around, and turn it around, and turn it around, and indeed it writes in every orientation. And it writes at a low angle, and it writes even better at a straight up and down angle. And comparing this line to my Richard Binder chart, it comes out at 0.3 millimeters, which is different than the 0.5 millimeters it was advertised as. And that is a Western extra, extra fine to extra fine, or a Japanese extra fine to fine. So about this nib, it is scratchy in that direction, it is scratchy in that direction, it's scratchy in that direction, that's really scratchy, it's scratchy in that direction, down, down, turn it around, whichever way you go, it is scratchy with a capital Atchy. I should also mention here that whenever you write with it, you may have heard while I was writing with it, it clicks in some directions. The, the pen tends to click, and I don't know what's moving inside there, but it's really annoying. Want to hear the most annoying sound in the world? I suppose smoothing the nib with a micro mesh might help, uh, but you've got normal normal nibs are cut like that down the center, and so the writing surface is right there, and so you have that edge and that edge to deal with when you're going up and down and so forth, and so when you smooth, you're smoothing out some of those edges, but when you're got a 360 degree nib and it's cut in four sections you've got all those one two three four five six seven eight edges to deal with and all eight edges of those are scratchy and for our quote And there's no point in reverse writing because what is reverse? There is no reverse. It's all the same thing. And some quick writing. Seems to have no problems keeping up. So what do I like and what do I not like about this fountain pen? Well, this pen is actually a novelty, isn't it? Uh, as I said in the introduction, for only four bucks, it's uh, actually very well built. Uh, if you need a very slim, small pen for your purse, your bag, your notebook, or briefcase, this might actually work nicely. As you can see, it actually writes. It's uh, not a uh, pleasurable writing experience, but it actually writes. I don't think a ballpoint is a pleasurable writing experience either, but it's uh, expedient. As a fountain pen writer in the hand, however, it leaves a lot to be desired. It's very, very thin and slippery all over, especially the tiny tapered slick section here. The nib is tiny, tiny, and although it writes in all 360 degrees, it is also scratchy in every one of those degrees. The filling system doesn't hold a lot of ink. I think I've written uh, a couple of pages with this pen and it's almost empty, which means I didn't really fill it up well at all. Um, I pumped and pumped and pumped and couldn't seem to fill that little window up uh, at all. And the edges of that bar are very sharp, so 
you end up pumping and pumping and it's very sharp and uncomfortable this aerometric filling system isn't removable so there's no way to use uh, cartridges or anything nor is the nib removable so there's no way to clean this pen other than pumping away in in a glass of water uh, over and over and over again which is a real pain in the and now it's all a matter of time a volume of cream like this can turn into butter in as little as 15 to 20 minutes but for four dollars you can get a bunch of these and hand them out as party favors to your next uh, pen club get together whenever that might be and there you have it if you like this video please like and subscribe and don't forget to ring that bell to get instant notifications whenever a new video is posted and that just leaves it for me to say thank you for watching and that's all she wrote I made this